In the wave of the Industrial Revolution, engines have always been an important core in promoting the rapid progress of industry. After more than a century of continuous progress and innovation, engine technology has reached incredible heights. Whether it is the powerful power sources on the aircraft carrier or the huge engines that push the space rockets out of the Earth's gravity, these are already very impressive. However, what we are going to introduce today is not an ordinary engine, but an epic-making industrial miracle, the world's largest ship dual-fuel engine. This giant engine was independently developed and manufactured by more than 120 scientists in China. Its size is comparable to a five-story building. Its weight reaches an astonishing 2,100 tons, and its power reaches 64,000 kilowatt-hours. A modification machine of this size is unique in the world. So since the birth of this engine, it has not only set a number of global records, but also broken the Guinness World Records, becoming an important milestone in the history of industrial development. So, what is the purpose of such a huge engine? Compared with traditional ship engines, what are its eye-catching advantages? If you like our video content, please click to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can receive all our latest video content. Now, let's get into today's topic. As far as I know, there are currently three main types of marine engines in the world, diesel engines, gas turbines, and nuclear power reactors. Among the three, Diesel engines have become the most widely used type on large ships due to their mature technology, high thermal efficiency, and good economy. Moreover, this kind of engine has a long operating cycle and can meet the needs of most ships, especially for giant ships exceeding 100,000 tons. However, diesel engines also have some obvious disadvantages, namely their large size and high fuel consumption. For those commercial ships pursuing high economic efficiency, diesel engines are not the best choice. Another common power system is a nuclear power reactor, which is usually only equipped on large military ships. For example, the Heimitz class and Ford class aircraft carriers with a displacement of up to 100,000 tons, as well as the French Navy's Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier. But in Russia, they will also choose to install nuclear power reactors on polar research icebreakers. These ships use nuclear power because nuclear reactors can provide high power, allowing the ships to crush thick ice and perform icebreaking tasks more quickly. However, since the miniaturization, safety, and high confidentiality of nuclear reactor technology have not yet been realized, the application of this technology in the field of civilian ships is still very limited. The third type is the dual-fuel ship engine we are going to discuss today. The so-called dual-fuel marine engine is an innovative power system that can burn natural gas and traditional diesel at the same time. In contrast, this kind of engine can not only ensure the power needs of the ship, but also reduce the cost of fuel to a certain extent and even achieve better environmental protection effects. But in this field, China is already at the forefront of the world. As far as I know, in May 2020, the first new dual-fuel ship engine developed by Chinese scientists was officially launched. The length of this engine reaches 22.7 meters, the height reaches 16 meters, and the weight is more than 2,150 tons. For those seeing an engine of this size for the first time, it can be difficult to associate it with an engine. However, this massive weight and size make perfect sense when you realize that it's a massive ship it's pushing. What is even more striking is that the output power of a single unit of this engine is as high as nearly 64,000 kilowatt hours. This means that only two such engines can propel a giant ocean-going cargo ship with a displacement of up to 100,000 tons, which is even close to the displacement of a U.S. nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. Therefore, this engine is not only the largest dual-fuel engine in the world, but also the first largest dual-fuel engine to be put into service. So, 
What are the advantages of the world's largest dual fuel engine developed in China? According to statistics, more than 80% of the world's trade goods are currently transported by sea, and the global seaborne transaction volume in 2023 will reach an astonishing 13 billion tons. Although the maritime industry plays an important role in global trade, its large vessels and high fuel consumption also make it a major source of greenhouse gas emissions. In order to meet this challenge, many countries have set goals to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from the shipping industry within the framework of the International Maritime Group. It is expected that by 2050, total annual greenhouse gas emissions will be reduced to at least half of 2008 levels. In this context, the dual fuel engine developed by China becomes very important. As far as I know, compared with traditional large engines, the biggest feature of dual fuel ship engines developed in China is that they are highly environmentally friendly. This engine performs well in terms of energy efficiency, emitting only one-tenth of the nitrogen oxides of conventional engines. In addition, the exhaust emissions of this engine already meet the requirements of international emission regulations, and there is no need to install additional purification equipment, which saves a lot of cost for the ship. In addition to its environmental protection features, the engine is also equipped with an advanced intelligent control system that integrates early warning and diagnostic functions, making maintenance and repair more convenient. This kind of multifunctional engine not only meets the needs of modern large ships, but is also very important for more and more large cargo ships, especially European and other maritime freight giants, because they need this kind of powerful and powerful economical power system to maintain its competitiveness in the international shipping market. Although China has become the world leader in dual fuel engine technology, they are still pursuing higher technological levels. As far as I know, the latest dual material engine technology developed in China has been upgraded to version 2.0. As early as early 2023, a subsidiary of CSSC completed the first delivery of this generation of engines. The new engine uses natural gas as a backup fuel and operates efficiently in gas mode via diesel cycle technology. Compared with traditional diesel engines, this new system can reduce carbon dioxide emissions by approximately 23%, nitrogen oxide emissions by 30%, and particulate matter and sulfur oxide emissions by 90% to 97% respectively. It is worth mentioning that the dual fuel engine has attracted widespread attention from the international community as soon as it came out. After a year of market practice verification, in 2021, Many shipping companies around the world began to place bulk orders for this engine from China. In mid-2021 alone, China received 75 orders for this engine. Among them, the French CMA CGM Group was one of the first shipping companies to express its willingness to cooperate with China. As early as 2017, the two parties had signed a major contract covering nine dual-fuel engine ships. The first dual-fuel-powered container ship, Dafiak Sad, was officially delivered in September 2020. Then in June 2021, the world's largest and most advanced dual-fuel-powered container ship, Dafei Sobin, independently designed and built by China, was also successfully delivered. Currently, the maximum capacity that the world's largest container ships can carry has reached 23,000 TUs, which is 10,000 TUs higher than the maximum capacity 10 years ago. However, as global trade volumes continue to grow, even a capacity of 23,000 TUs can no longer fully meet the needs of shipping companies. For this reason, the Big Mac dual fuel engine developed by China is particularly important because it can meet the power needs of future ultra-large container ships. It is expected that this new dual fuel engine will be widely used on commercial ships by 2026. To not miss out on our future projects and news updates, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. We will continue to provide you with more exciting and interesting content.